We've all seen the videos. Birds with their stomachs full of plastic, that turtle with the straw stuck in its nose. I don't know about you guys, but I'm fed up with the plastic pollution and the harm it's causing our ecosystems. But the solutions of the future are being engineered by a small group of scientists in comparison to the amount of people who are polluting the earth. Here's one easy way we can all start making a difference right now in two ways that science has us covered for when we fail. These things right here are literally the devil. Okay, maybe not the devil, but seriously, single-use plastics, whether they be forks, spoons, knives, straws, whatever, they're all awful for the environment. And we use them on a semi-regular basis just because human beings prefer choosing convenience over mild inconvenience. But if there were ever one small thing we could all do to make a big impact on the environment, it's this, stop using single-use plastics. Literally, just next time you go to a restaurant, drink directly from the glass. If you really need a straw or are a person with a disability who uses a straw, you can use a straw alternative. Some popular options include reusable paper, silicone, or metal straws. It's not a one-size-fits-all solution, but there are options. Bring Tupperware and reusable utensils to work, use reusable bags for your groceries, and get a reusable water bottle. This stuff will actually save you money, and at the very most, it would only add a few minutes of dishwashing to your day. The impact of what you can do is real, and we need it to be real. Plastic has been found in more than 60% of all seabirds and 100% of sea turtle species that mistake plastic as food, and those detrimental effects quickly find their way back to humans. People who eat seafood end up consuming up to 11,000 tiny pieces of plastic each year. And that's only the ocean. That doesn't talk about anything that's happening in your own backyard on land. Back at home, plastic in all its forms are piling up in landfills because a whopping 91% of plastic isn't actually recycled. So you and I here are the problem because we're lazy and we don't want to sort our own trash. But what if we just stopped using one reusable plastic object a year? If every person in New York City used one less grocery bag per year, it would reduce waste by 5 million pounds and save $250,000 on disposal. That's just one piece of plastic less a year, not even one less a day. When it comes to what you can't do, science is attempting to handle the rest. One solution to the plastic problem is to attack its most detrimental part, how it breaks down. Many plastics aren't biodegradable and could take anywhere from 15 to 1,000 years to break down. But in 2016, researchers at Utrecht University developed a sort of super fungus, and it literally eats plastic once it's treated with some UV light. The mushroom devours the plastic over the course of a few weeks, and once it feeds, it's completely edible. It's a lengthy, incredible process that, though it won't fix our massive plastic problem, it could potentially offset how much waste we dump into landfills. Further research needs to be done before it becomes a commercially viable product that can start changing the world, but it's a really interesting solution. Six-pack rings end up choking marine animals and are a generally inefficient nuisance to the world. Their purpose is not even close to being outweighed by their environmental impact. So what's science gonna do about it? Well, the team at We Believers, in cooperation with the Ocean Conservancy, have created edible six-pack rings. The rings are made out of barley and wheat remnants from the process used to brew beer, so it's not just positive for sea creatures, it's cost-effective and resource-effective as well. Reducing our dependence on plastic is a team effort. You and science are like the Wonder Twins, saving the future Earth from every plastic fork and straw floating in the middle of the Pacific. Together, we can get ourselves out of a very inconvenient environmental crisis.